Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel's all about. Right, today I've got a really interesting tent review for you. Now this is the Alpkit Aero Nort 1 and it's an inflatable backpacking tent. So it's main single pole tent with just an air pole. There's two tiny little micro poles, little aluminium poles, that also work with this tent. But the idea is you can scrunch it up really small, making it perfect for bike packing, or you can take it with you like canoeing or kayaking as well, as well as obviously backpacking. So this weighs just 1.2 kilos, which is extremely light for a backpacking tent. In this closed form, it's just 28 centimetres by 13 centimetres. So it's a really, really interesting tent. I've used it, it is tiny, but what I'll do, I'll get this inflatable tent out for you to see. I'll show you what it comes with and then we'll pitch it. But the way it pitches is the inner and outer together. So it's dead easy to pitch. And if it's raining, just means the inner's not gonna get wet either. Now, last time I used this, I've actually kept the micro poles intact. So the poles are actually ready to go. So if you're actually using this Alpkit Aero Nort 1 for backpacking, I would suggest packing it like that. It just means this pump up tent pitches in seconds. So this Alpkit Aero Nort 1 tent costs £179 and there's also an optional footprint which is an extra £30. So let's have a look what's included. So this is what you get in the Alpkit Aero Nort 1 tent bag. So like I said, you've got the inner and outer together. This is a 20D nylon fabric. It's also got a 3000 hydrostatic head rating, so it is properly waterproof. You've got these lovely, lovely, lovely Alpkit tent pegs. Really, really nice. I love this style of tent peg. They work really, really well. So you've got all your tent pegs. You've also got a few squares of all the materials in the tent. So you've got a little repair kit too. Now I'm using my flex tail gear, tiny pump X, little pump, just to show you that you can pump up at least some of the tent pole with it. So I'll show you that in a minute, but let's get this tent pitched. Right, so let's get this Alp kit tent pitched. Now, like I said, I've actually kept the two small end stakes attached. So this is gonna go up really, really quickly. These are the stakes. As you can see, they're tiny little micro tent poles. They're actually split in two, so you can make them even smaller than this. But let's put the shallow end that side. This is your big air pole over here in the back of the tent. Let's just move this over here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start pumping it up using my flex tail gear, tiny pump X. Now for this to be effective, you need to make sure the inflatable pole is restricted so nothing's there to stop it pumping up so just give it a move around make sure it's all ready to be pumped up now here you've got two ways of inflating either through a Schrader valve which is a classic sort of mountain bike pump fitting or you've got this other way, which I'll use, and it's just got a couple of different fittings to pump up the tent. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna stick the end of this little pump, and let's pump away. Now, to fine tune it, you've also got a little non-return 
valve on here too. So just to finish blowing it up, you can actually do it by mouth. No air's coming out at all, but it's just making sure this is fully pumped up. Now you mustn't, mustn't over inflate this temp pole. Right, now to start pegging out this Alpkit Aeronaut 110. Start with the small end. Right, so let's take a look around this blow up tent. Now, these are the micro poles I was telling you about. Fit, nice fixings, nice poles join in the middle so you can make them absolutely tiny. Tent pegs, they've got nice guy ropes. To be honest, everything on this tent is really nicely made actually. It really, really is. So, you've got that classic single pole, one man tent look to it. Now, the actual pole itself isn't particularly rigid, which makes it quite difficult to set up. So you really need to fine tune this Alp kit tent to get the best out of it. But you can see it's got one vent there and one door. That's a really nice stealthy looking tent. So let's take a look inside this Alpkit Aeronaut tent. So like I say, it's got one door, zip that right up to the top. Just fold back the door. It's quite nice because it's got two fixings here rather than one for the door, which just really helps getting in and out of the tent. As you can see here, You've got a solid mesh bottom with quite an open mesh top. So it's a good three season tent. So just unzip this all the way to the bottom and the door just packs away in a little pocket down there. And that is it. Okay, so let's have a look at this out kit. Aeronaut 110. Now, first thing you'll see is it's tiny. It is, it's, it just is, it's absolutely tiny. So you've got a couple of pockets over there. You've got another pocket down there the door goes into. You've got a pocket at the top. It's perfect for your mobile phone and head torch. And you've got some little lantern hooks too. So, Inside this Alpkit tent, you've got a ceiling height of 90 centimetres. You've also got a width, a maximum width of 90 centimetres. And length, you've got a maximum length of 220. Now, similarly to other sort of tents like this, the stealth tents, you've got an angled back a bit of an angled front so you do lose quite a lot of that 220 centimeter length so if you're tall you're really going to struggle i'm five foot eight 172 centimeters um when i use this it's actually not too bad for me um height wise i'm sitting up my head's really pressing against the top of this tent um 90 centimeters i'm not convinced that it is really at all. Um, part of that problem, if you think a normal single pole tent has got a tent pole that's what, maybe eight and a half mil, um, these inflatable tents, that tent pole's probably about 100 mil. So you're losing quite a lot of the height with the inflatable tent pole. Um, having said that, it's got a decent sized porch area so your backpack could go in there quite easily gives you a bit of a space here to do some cooking now 
this is a tiny tent. It's a tiny tent and it is meant really for bike packing or canoeing and kayaking or you know if you just want something different as a backpacking tent. So I can't be too harsh on it because it isn't designed for normal backpacking but it's really interesting tent, very inventive um, you know for bike packing you can make it really really small you can make it into all sorts of sizes because you haven't got to worry about that tent pole and for that i think it's really good for those sorts of purposes but i would say if you're just going backpacking yeah there's plenty of other better tents out there i wouldn't bother with this at all really um but I've got to say to Alpkit, everything's actually made really nicely. The tent poles are lovely. The little tent pegs, they're really nicely too. All the fabrics on this tent are really good. It's just really well thought out for what it's designed for. Now, some of you won't be convinced on the inflatable pole saying it's going to puncture. Yes, it might, to be honest, but you could take a puncture repair kit with you. Um, what I would say is it's probably going to be ideal for, you know, nice weather camps, um, any sort of high winds. I think this tent pole, I mean, look, the tiniest bit of pressure, any sort of high winds, and this is going to be absolutely flattened. Yes, it won't break, but chances are that tent, <laughs> the tent's going to be in your face. But overall, I think if you're looking for a bike packing tent, really really consider it so i'll put all the links in the description including my flex tail gear tiny pump x little micro pump but check out my other videos and hope to see you camping out there soon cheers